All right, this is what every beginning student can't wait for, a solo flight. So here I am, I'm waiting for that plane to, to land. Here comes a 737. This is a busy airport. This is at uh, KSNA, and that's Kilo Sierra November Alpha. It's John Wayne Orange County Airport. Look at all these planes. There's two there. I've got to wait for this one to my left to take off. The one on the right is not a factor. He's on a, another uh, parallel runway. So I've been cleared to to take off, and here we go. So I'm rolling out to line up on two zero left. I've been cleared so let's do it my very first takeoff with no one in the airplane but me it was definitely an experience uh, others had said I would notice a difference with the, you know less weight in the plane it would take off a lot faster but my instructor wasn't that heavy uh, in fact it was pretty thin and uh, I, I really couldn't tell a difference at all so there's that other airplane over at my right see I'm taking off runway. So John Wayne Airport has a uh, uh, published procedure that if you're taking off on runway 20 left you have to uh, make a 15 degree offset just like I, I did just now if you, saw, if you notice that. Uh, once you get to the end of the runway is the, the turn 15 degrees. Uh, that's just so you don't overfly the other runway where the uh, big jet liners are. So with this 15 degree offset, turning crosswind is basically almost like just making a U-turn. <laughs> There's not much of a crosswind, it's just a constant turn directly into the downwind. So here I am over uh, Irvine. UCI is over to the right, and we usually run our downwind uh, leg over Von Karman Avenue. This is the road directly in front of me and below. And there's the airport to my left. And the reason being, I've seen I've seen other general aircraft making these downwind pattern legs over by Jamboree, uh, which is quite a ways out. But you know, we were taught to be within gliding distance in case something were to happen. So here I am turning base, making sure that there's no airliners coming from my right on their final. Uh, typically the, the tower will, will uh, let me know. And we also, just like on departure, on, on turning base, we, we turn into a 15 degree offset. So that was, uh, or the, my downwind, I'm sorry, my uh, base is like a 15 degree offset. So this is my final, and I'm not, at this point, directly lined up with, this, with the extended runway, I'm still on my 15 degree offset. Uh, once I get a little closer, then I'll, I'll line up with the, the center line uh, for a true base. At this point, I probably have two notches of flaps down, and I'll be putting my third notch of flaps down uh, really soon. What was really weird about my, this first, my first flight is I swear the ghost of my instructor was sitting in the seat because I could hear his voice as if he was sitting there telling me to, all right, Les, you know, uh, check your check your sight picture, you know, scan at your your uh, airspeed, but you know, don't stare at it. Keep keep looking out. Uh, you know, aim for the set your aiming point at the numbers and this and that. So I mean, it. it Really, it was as if he was there. It was kind of creepy, actually. But it was it was good. So here I am crossing the 405 freeway. And there was a slight uh, crosswind from my right, probably like three knots, three or four knots, something like that. I believe. I have to look. I have the, the, the ATIS from the flight. So here I am coming down, cutting power. Keep in mind, it's my first landing. It's not perfect.
notice that 737 taking off over to the right. Anyway, I'm down. I completed my first lap around the airport. We get to do three laps on our first solo. And uh, so here I am uh, pulling off. I don't know if you can see my instructor standing out there on the, you know, out there on the, on the grass. Uh, so he's just watching. And here I am pulling over. I'm going to tell Tower that uh, I want to taxi back. I'm cleaning up the plane. And I'm not going to bore you with another takeoff and landing. But I do, I do want to show on this uh, uh, turn the base here is a, a jetliner coming in and the tower had uh, told me about it and he, although he looks kind of far out right there he's moving a lot faster than I am so uh, he'll appear in a minute once I turn turn to my full base and I'll, I'll point him out as, uh, as he gets, gets closer but we have to contend with a lot of these airliners and, ju and just airplanes in general. This is a very busy Class Charlie Airport, Class C. There's, there's the, it's a Southwest airliner. There is pulling in. We, we do have to be careful for weight turbulence. Uh, I have been caught up in a couple of times in the weight turbulence. I have a previous video on that if, if you want to uh, go look that up later. Uh, luckily, that was a. It was a non-issue, not a factor for that plane. But here's another Southwest 737. Here I am taxiing for my third and final uh, lap around the airport in the pattern. So he's holding short because there's a 757 in front of him getting ready to take off on the parallel runway. So I've got a short here until I get clearance to take off. And it gives me time to readjust my altimeter and a few other pre-takeoff checklist items. Let's uh, get this 57 out of the way. There he goes. Speeding up the 737, taxiing to the runway, just to save time. Uh, but now we're back to real time, and there goes the 737. And there's one more plane on, a, on approach or final on my runway, so I've got to wait until he lands. There he is, so I can assess him, I believe. Okay, he's landed, and Tower is uh, telling me to. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is a, a different... Uh, that's the other runway, but it's still a jet. And now I've been cleared for runway 20. So let me speed this up and, and get to the, to the good stuff. All right. My final takeoff for the day. Solo. Full power. Airspeed's alive. T's and P's in the green. Rotate speed, 55 knots. And we're up. And don't forget, we have to do our 15 degree offset. And it's usually with that blue building that's down on the left, if you can see that. That's right at the end of the runway. And in the distance, those tall buildings, if you're familiar with the John Wayne Airport area or the really Orange County. Irvine, Newport Beach area. That's uh, Fashion Island. Okay, so here I am on final. My last landing of the day. And I can still hear my instructor advising me on things to do and check for. And the airport looks pretty clear there. No one there airplanes waiting on me. Pappies are white, two white, two red. Got the runway made, power's out. Flaring, pulling back, don't let it land, don't let it land, and down. All right. So I can't forget my instructor, so let me uh, pull over.
over here and pick him up. There he is, he's still standing there. changing the ground frequency and here he is.